This is a story of how I used Cochrane evidence for myself and had my first experience of real shared decision making. I've had contamination obsessive compulsive disorder since I was an adolescent. But I only lately found out what it was when, while caring for my mother who had dementia, I had a particularly unpleasant episode and searched for my symptoms online. I know all about the importance of reliable sources, but I wasn't at my most rational and I plunged head first into the sea of Google. I read indiscriminately and it confused me and made me anxious. I had a sense of stigma about taking medication for mental illness and I was worried about side effects. I was interested in talking therapies, especially cognitive behavioural therapy with exposure and response prevention, CBT ERP. Yet some online accounts of it alarmed me. My first encounter with a GP was short and I don't recall much discussion. She handed me the phone number for increasing access to talking therapies, IAPT, and told me to refer myself. I agreed with IAPT that I should try counselling first, but there was a waiting list of at least six months. So I tried a private counsellor without success. She didn't challenge my fear of ERP, and she told me an anecdote about a relative who hadn't tolerated medication well. Luckily, I knew about Cochrane. I knew that the systematic reviews in the library would be reliable, free from vested interest and regularly updated. That was what I needed to escape the confusion, the anecdotes and the emotion. Again, I was lucky. I found two systematic reviews that were just what I was looking for, one on medication and one on psychological treatments. They told me SSRIs, a type of antidepressant, were more effective than placebo, a sham treatment, in reducing symptoms in the short term. They worked. There were possible side effects, but the risk for common ones in fluoxetine was low. Psychological treatments derived from cognitive behavioural models were more effective than treatment as usual. So they worked too. The second review mentioned another on behavioural and cognitive therapy. It was for OCD in children and adolescents, but it said OCD was similar in children and adults. It suggested that neither therapy nor medication was superior, but there was evidence that combining both treatments produced better outcomes than medication alone. Armed with this information, I made up my mind to discuss it with a GP, so I asked the duty doctor to call me. Yet again, luck was with me. Psychiatry was his particular interest, and he was very sympathetic. He asked me what I already knew about the condition and its treatment, and I told him about the Cochrane reviews. I wasn't prepared for the response. He perked up instantly and looked twice as energetic. Then for the first time in my life, I experienced true shared decision-making, and it was tremendous. I felt like a partner in the consultation. We discussed the potential benefits and risks of medication, the dosage, the side effects, and what we could do if I couldn't tolerate the treatment. He showed me where I could find more information online. He turned his computer screen towards me, and talked me through things as he looked them up. We agreed that I should try fluoxetine and also call IAPT again and ask to be moved onto the waiting list for CBT ERP. We discussed my circumstances too and what positive steps could be taken to help my mother and me. So he skillfully and sensitively brought together what I already knew and my needs, preferences and circumstances with the current evidence and his own expertise. He helped me to feel in control of the process. This continued in the appointments that followed as we adjusted the dosage to suit me. What a positive and empowering experience it was. Now I'm a confirmed fan of health evidence and of shared decision making. 
and I'd like to urge you to try it.